Hi everyone, my name is Sergei Mustu and today we are going to recreate these animations that you will see here. Um, I put them on my Vimeo site and I got a, a lot of feedback and um, I think in the last um, four or five days uh, more than 22,000 people have watched this movie. It's because Video Copilot put this movie on their homepage and uh, well yeah, thank you for this and thank you for watching this movie and for this tremendous amount of feedback um, that's very nice and uh, yeah and let's recreate this animation now and uh, we jump now to cinema the thing is um, I want to fly through here because I want to focus on the parameters in element 3d so um, we create quickly some text here um, let's name it neon and align it to um, middle, make it bold, choose a different typo here or font, let's say this one, and give it a little bit more depth. And yeah, that's looking, that is looking good. And uh, just duplicate that, and type in light, or you can type whatever you want. And now we have our two objects. All right, so um, let's um, start with neon. And we have to convert this into a polygonal object by hitting C on the keyboard or put in, by pushing this button here. And as you can see now, we have some newly created um, extrusion objects. We have to convert them as well again. And uh, let's select all the children objects here to make it easier. And then hold down the right, right mouse button and connect objects and delete. Now we have our one object that we need to fracturize. All right, so do the same with um, light. Um, actually, actually, there's a script for it that does the job for you. It's called um, Edit Optimize, and you can find it on the internet. And what it does, it goes through all the steps, and uh, um, it keeps the original MoGraph text object and uh, creates um, a single polygonal object that is really nice in this case. Uh, you can find it on the internet and I will provide the link uh, below this movie in the text, in the description text. Uh, we don't need this anymore here. Uh, rename this to light. And um, now uh, let's create two materials. I call this outside and duplicate that and call this inside. And we put outside on both of the objects. And the inside material um, comes later. I will show you later. Um, what we first need to do is, as you can see, the axis is not centered. So go to uh, your menu and center the axis. Um, in Cinema 4D release 13, um, it's under Mesh and Axis Center. You may find this um, parameter uh, in previous versions under a different menu. All right, so do the same with uh, light. Mesh, axis center, execute. All right, now we have our axis in the center and it's better uh, to have this axis in the center um, if you put this uh, object in um, element 3D later. All right, so now we uh, will fracturize this object and um, therefore, I use the plugin um, Xcloud from um, uh, Valkyrie. Um, it costs 12 euros, but actually you can use also um, Frowsy, it's for free, and we'll do the same job. Um, Xcloud, in my opinion, is a little bit faster. And um, I select my object and I put this inside material now into this field. So we have two materials, one from the outside and one from the inside. And that looks actually really cool later in Element 3D. So let's say we have um, 250 parts and add the particles and scatter the object. Okay, let's see how it looks. Okay, clear the particles. Check this, two materials. Great. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. I rename this to light and hide this for a moment. Now 
we are doing the same with neon, um, add some particles, and scatter the object. And check it. All right. Delete this. Rename this. Okay. Now, oh, wait a minute. Uh, the particles. I want to clear them here. Okay. So. Um, now I delete light for a moment and I save this as a single um, Cinema 4D file um, because we want to have two Cinema 4D files imported into Element 4D. Now I undo that, select Neon, delete Neon, and save light as a single Cinema 4D file. All right. So we are ready here and we jump right into After Effects. Okay, let's create a new scene, a new composition, and a new solid. I name this Element 3D. And under Effects, go to Video Copilot, Element, and import the object here. Start with Neon. Neon is uh, flipped in the X axis, that doesn't matter. We go to this parameter here and flip it back. Okay, import the light. And do the same here. Okay. So far, so good. We have two materials on, uh, on each object. And um, uh, right now, I'm um, replacing the materials with, let's say, uh, from the outside, we have a blue one. And from the inside, we choose maybe this one here. Oops. All right. Okay, you will see what it means later. Okay, very important. Um, neon should be on group one and light should be on group two. This is very important because we want to animate between these two objects. Okay. All right, so now we have our two objects here and um, let's create a new camera. Okay. And um, we see both objects now. And uh, what we're going to do here is, um, first of all, I will um, activate under particle lock of each group. And group one represents uh, neon and group two represents light. And uh, if I hit now enable um, in the animation engine, we see only one object. But if, when we animate between them, from 0 to 100, you see um, when our two objects animate uh, between each other. Okay, um, you would see it here, group 1 and group 2. So, uh, what I'm doing now is I will um, activate under particle look of each um, group the multi object. Enable, close that, and group 2, particle look. Multi object enable. Okay. Now it will animate the whole pieces of each object as you can see here. Okay. And as you can see, do you see, do you see what I mean with uh, two different materials? Actually, that looks really nice. Okay. So let's make this animation a little bit more interesting. Um, as you can see here, the chunks are um, just uh, scaling them cells to nothing, so to zero. And what we want to do now is um, I want to recreate the animation, uh, the second animation here, this one. So I will um, reposition neon and light. And let's move a little bit back here. And um, on group one, I choose Particle Replicator, and this Particle Replicator represents my axis of the whole object. So I move it to the, uh, to the left. Oh, wait a minute, I disable Animation Engine for a while. And um, Group 2, Particle Replicator, and move it to the, to the right. Ah, you, as you can see, they are not in line, so make a little bit down here. Yeah, but that's looking. That is looking good. Okay, a little bit more. All right, so 
Now let's see how it looks if we animate between them. Go back to um, Animation Engine, Enable, and Animate. Okay. Um, that is looking interesting, but um, it's looking also a little bit disharmonic. And what we can do now is, as you can see, we have Animation Type. Activate it. Um, I mean, we have Directional animated at the Animation Type. And if we have this activated, uh, in this case Directional, um, we have additional directional options here. For example, if we use um, Radial, we then get Radial options here. But let's stay with Directional. So open it up, and um, in the horizontal way, you put, on, put in um, 180. And now let's see how it looks if we animate between them. You see what I mean? Now it looks better. And let's stop here at about 50%. And now we can actually play with the settings, as you can see. And we play uh, until it looks good. Let's, uh, let's say um, 100... Oh, I think 180 is okay here. We can even um, do the vertical um, uh, values here. Or change the vertical values. And when it starts, um, let's say, from above, Let's put it to 90 degrees, and let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks very nice, especially with motion blur later in the animation. And uh, so this is how I did, actually, the second animation in the movie. Um, and with this values, we can, we can play around. Um, actually, the uh, third animation here, um, I use also uh, directional. Um, animation type, and just put the word nothings and the word impossible far away from each other. Um, in this case, let's open it up. Uh, no, it's here, right. All right, okay, I will deactivate um, the uh, depth of field for a moment. Okay, actually what I did here is um, as you can see, um, the only values I changed here is uh, the Z position of about 5000 and um, the, the position of the group 2, in this case the impossible word, is I, I let it at 0. And then I simply rotate the text in the end and the particles followed the um, rotational object the rotation of this object. Um, I will show you now. So, let's say um, I zero a position for, for this um, example now. And also reposition the camera. And now, let's have a look how it looks. Okay. Now I put neon um, a little bit behind and animate between of them. Okay. Now um, what I what I did was um, I rotate the um, second object, the group two, in the um, x axis. Oh no, I'm sorry. In the it was the no the z axis here. I put on. I put in uh, 180 degrees, and if I play now the animation, it looks like the animation in the movie. But something's wrong, the um, light word is upside down. So what can we do to fix that? Let's jump back to a scene setup and simply flip the light objects in the, Z, in the Y axis. Okay. And this is how I did the animation. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I have to um, flip back on the x-axis. Okay, so now. Yeah, that is looking very nice. And um, what, I, what I also did was um, I just animate the camera from word or group one, in this case, uh, neon. <laughs> nothings, and 
group two and the impossible world. So that's uh, very simple and has a great effect, especially if you um, turn on um, depth of field and motion blur. And yeah, that looks really nice. And uh, we have instant feedback here in 3D and, and, and that is fantastic. I really like to play with this plugin and I figured out something more I will tell you in the next uh, tutorial and uh, next animation I put on, on Vimeo. Um, as you can see, um, the directional um, uh, type animation is, we, we can have a good example at this animation here, where we see um, uh, also the rotation of a second object and the directional um, setting. Um, but um, there's another option here, and it's uh, let's zero the, the, uh, the waves here. Um, okay. And this is also looking interesting. We have also a radial animation type. And this is how I did the second, uh, the first animation, this here. It looks a little bit smoother in the direction now. And what I did here was, um, let's check it out how it looks. Okay, if I go back to directional, you know, I have more scattered, uh, a more scattered object. And directional um, behaves a little bit different here. And uh, what I did was I um, choose a different um, rotation angle and group I think on group two, yes, I zero that here. And let's check it out. Near light radio, it was uh, group two, yeah, 180. Okay, very simple. 180. And now I make between them. Uh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. What happens here? Oh, it's also the first group. No, no, I don't want to. I put this radio on the first group, I want to put it on the second group. Sorry for that. Okay, again. Yes, so we have to go back to the scene setup and flip the x-axis back and, and the y-axis. Okay. Oops, no. We don't need this. All right. Again, so this is how I did the first animation. And here we can actually, um, in the radial options, um, set the position on the x-axis uh, to a different location. As you can see, it looks then a little bit different, the animation. Actually, we can play with the settings. And it is really nice um, once we have set up our scene to play with these parameters to always get a different look. And um, yeah, that is looking very nice, especially if we have turned on motion blur. Okay, let's do this. I uh, make a keyframe here and uh, around here, the second one, make it uh, yeah, these, that keyframes. And Choose a different camera angle like this here. And uh, turn on motion blur. So, and this is how I did the three animations. Okay, folks, actually that's it for now. And uh, as you can see, the setup is very simple. And once we have understand, we understood that, um, we can play around with the parameters and uh, make the animation very nice. Um, replace the object and uh, choose a different angle and flip uh, the object in the scene setup um, to a different axis. And yeah, so actually, uh, this is really nice um, to play with. Okay, so that's for it now. 
you can download the object Neon and Light um, and also an um, example After Effects file um, on the link below and play with it and let's see what you will um, make out of it. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, have fun and see you later.